Active Campaign Thrive Cart Lifetime Value. In this video, we're going to cover getting the lifetime value of your customer into your Active Campaign account from your Thrive Cart purchases. To do so, you're going to need obviously an Active Campaign account, Thrive Cart, and you'll want to put a PHP script on your web server. Originally, I planned on using a Google app script, but it actually requires two calls between Active Campaign and the script, which would have meant, been, meant two Google Apps scripts. So instead, decide just to do one PHP script on your server. So let's dive right in. First thing we want to do inside our Active Campaign account is create a custom field. I'm going to just call it LTV. You can call it whatever else you want. Um, you'll may, need to make a slight change if you do, but go to Forms, Manage Fields, New Custom Field. We'll make it a text input. And I'm just going to do capital LTV, lifetime value. Next, you want to collect your API URL and key. So under my settings, you want to go to developer. And then copy the URL for API access. Save that somewhere for now. And also the key. You want to copy that and save that for elsewhere. Now, next step is to go into your hosting account, typically your cPanel if you have it, file manager, and you're going to want to create a script or a file called threadcart-ltv.php. And go ahead and edit that file. Here's a copy of what you need to copy paste. So go ahead and copy all of that. Paste it in there. Now at the top, a few things. For now, we're just going to leave it in debug mode because I want to see uh, test mode transactions go through. I'm going to leave this as LTV because that's what I need in the custom field. Now I need to just provide the AC or Active Campaign URL right here. And then I also need to provide the key. So go ahead and save that. And then there's nothing else you need to do. But let me briefly show you what this does. Da, da, da. Probably the more important things are it collects some information from Thrivecart, basically what event, which mode, email, and the total value of the order. And then I sneak this little five second delay in here. And the reason I do that is because I want I don't want there to be a syncing or a race condition between the information sent from Thrivecart to Active Campaign. I kind of want mine to show up a little bit later. And this is just a way to be a little bit safe about that. And then, depending on what type of order or what type of event occurs, it's either the amount gets added or subtracted. So if it's an order payment or an order success, then the lifetime value gets added to the total value. Otherwise, if it's a refund, that gets subtracted from the lifetime value. And then that gets pushed over to the contacts record. And then finally, inside your Thrivecart account, you're going to need to modify or set up a webhook. So you want to go to Settings, API and Webhooks, Webhook Notifications, View Settings, and then I'm going to call this Thrivecart Lifetime Value, and I'm going to give it the URL of the script I created on my site. I'm going to go ahead and save that webhook. So every time a purchase is made, information will be sent to this URL right here. So let's give it a try. <clears throat> so I'm going to make a test purchase of a product. I'm going to go ahead and get that URL. Now let's go Dave Wooding. Let's do D Wooding plus test. Three, four, five. So this is a one dollar offer. Don't disregard this. I know it's one dollar, but right now we're just going to do a one dollar offer. So let's go look up that contact in Active Campaign. Not there. So let's go ahead and make a purchase. I'm not going to take the bump. So it's basically a one dollar order. There's a five second delay, which I should be able to go here soon and search for this again. So lifetime value of 100, which is the equivalent of $1. So 
So I got added to the list. That's actually through Thrivecart. My lifetime value went up. Now let's go back and make the same purchase again. And if I do that, it's going to bump up to 200, which represents two dollars in this case. It's probably going to be five more seconds till it refreshes, so it's not still 100. So there, 200. Now one more time, what I'll do is I'll take this one dollar bump, please disregard the language, so it looks like it's going to be a total of two. I'm going to complete that order. So now this should go from 200 to 400. And it does. Now if I was to refund, lifetime value would go down. So this is how you can use ThriveCart with ActiveCampaign to track lifetime value.